nine games in a row at home for the Tigers. Next weekend, they will take on Major League Baseball with the Mets, the Rockies, and the Red Sox. He was a member of the Mets during... There's a strike. Taking all the way is Ogbayani on three. Ends. White tops, and they're sleeveless. Most of the players, well, some of them are, wearing those long green, uh, long sleeves. Coming to the plate now is Matty Bejarano, the junior, hitting three bats. Squares to bunt, puts it down, left side. Coffey has it, fires to first in time, and the sacrifice bunt puts And making a clean throw over to first. Now Hunter Ava, the senior. Burzon deals, breaking ball again low and swinging out in front is Ava. He strikes. That one's low and she just got a piece of it, fouls it at the plate. Off runner. Breaking ball outside corner and she got her. A delayed ring up. Danica really did it all last weekend in Oxford. Made it over at the hot corner. The 1-1, swinging, lifting in the air, but foul over the third base side and out of play. Pitches being shaken off by Korth. Here's the payoff pitch, and they fooled Coffey. She strikes out to start the ballgame. Breaking. Briggs, two of seven at Ole Miss last weekend. She made nine putouts and center fares in. Her 2-1, Briggs pops a bun up, foul territory, almost into the glove of Epinesa, who came in. The home play first, we're still scoreless. Korth deals, swung and a miss. Wow, Briggs, nice job. Korth with a rise ball to start the frame. He called Kaysen a fighter. 2-2, and she struck out the side to start this tournament. High five with her. Aided themselves this year. Morrow leading off, the team's leading hitter. Three. Here's the 2-2 to the leadoff hitter, Morrow. Here's the charge by Petty. The flip to first is just in time. There and Morrow, a 354 hitter, is through today's game hitting just 220. She has 11 hits and 50 at bats, but doesn't. stares in at Burzon. Hit Lesence into center field. A one out single, the first hit of the game. Zavodnik, B2, the flip to second base, and they'll hold the runner. A fielder's choice cuts down Zavodnik. 263 in her senior season. Down. Center fielder Briggs makes the catch. That one's too easy. And late after being retired, one, two, three. It'll be Clark, Petty, and Gutierrez coming up next. Georgia was two for ten in Oxford over three games. Field tonight, the wind blowing in through the flags. This one burns in, and it's called strike one to Clark. Freshman right-hander for BYU, deals. Breaking ball upstairs, and Clark's too aggressive out in front of it. Petty, previously an all-region player for Oklahoma State before trans. Course payoff pitch. Outside corner and she walked her. Great Eileen was probably LSU's biggest contributor at the plate versus Ole Miss. She went four for still only one out in the inning. The 3 2 drop. Making the turn is Petty. She's going into third base and standing on second is Rayleigh, the most dangerous seven hole hitter in all of NCAA softball. She stands in with third. Good to see her back in the lineup after missing four games. She squares to bunt. It's another suicide squeeze. LSU scores. No throw to the plate. Petty with a smile on her face comes across and she gets LSU the early lead, 1-0. LSU 73 on the year, five homers, 15 RBIs. She has a runner. Korth stares in tomorrow. The 3-1 hit into the glove of the third baseman Epinesa on a line. But LSU's lead will go to the top of the third and BYU coming to the plate. It'll be 9-1-2. Gilio stares in, waves at a breaking ball on the outside part of the plate. Third strikeout by sit home plate, Kevin Davis. Ogbayani now hitting 329 on the in that game. But still a nice start against a talented team. Field right side into the glove of LSU's second baseman, Petty. Two quick purple and gold challenge. Under the plate, she dropped a sacrifice bunt. Wrist of Burzon still rolling. Petty will pick it up at second. We'll see how they've... I'm looking at the scoreboard. I haven't seen them call it an error. You're behind in the count, 0-2. Waited on this one. Sends it past the diving glove of Pleasance at shortstop. Looking to end the first inning. Comes to the plate. Don't want her to get on track. That is a... Epinesa. You know how good the SEC is in softball. Breaking ball outside part of the plate, and she struck her out. 
Epinesa fan. You will be back on the LSU Sports Radio Network. After two and a half. Starts on the season. She's hitting 265 with a homer and four. Now she's ready to rock. Won't offer at the 3-1. She'll drop her bat and trot down to first base. LSU has a leadoff runner. 79 was named to the All-SEC second team. First base. Coffey stands in, squares to bunt, drops it in front of the plate. They won't even field it. Coffey scampers down to first. Now Sierra Briggs will come to the plate for the Tigers with two on, nobody out. Second, Coffey who runs well off first. Briggs drops the bunt. Right. The throw to third for the force out is in time. Epinesa's throw was true. We mentioned that Newland was three of nine in Oxford over the weekend. Female volunteer of the year. Gilio's coming over. She'll make the catch. It was a fly ball to the track, but it's as good as a second. Here's the 2-2. Breaking ball. She swung through it. First base was open. That one gets away from the catcher more in for the LSU offense. We'll go to the top of the fourth. Has elevated the Cougars to national prominence over the last 16 years. They went to Burzon struck out Epinesa to end the third. She strikes out Morrow. Morrow off. Eight junior stands back in. 2-2, breaking ball upstairs, and she swung through it. Now Alyssa Patoracek Foss comes to the plate. High chopper to Pleasance, it's short. The relay over to first in time. Athletics located on Acadian Thruway and Segan Lane. Hit the Tiger. Bayani stands in and will change things up a little bit against the middle. Down, now she'll step into the box. Three balls, two strikes. Ogbayani gives up the leadoff single to Carly. And to second base. Four here with a runner on first and no one out. Gucci side of the infield. Fielded cleanly live. Podoracek Foss. She'll flip to first in time. And I don't know if they ever officially put out there what her malady was. Hack in here behind 0-1. She'll square to bunt. Puts it down right side. They'll try and cut the runner down at third base and they do it again. They've got the defense down for BYU. Great job. Out here in the bottom of the fourth, LSU leading 1-0. Back is Bejarano, makes a great catch over on just a little bit, but Bejarano made a five-star play. Ana Ogbayani pitching now, two outs, two Tigers on first and second. Here's the payoff pitch to Stewart. Vanessa, Coffey, excuse me, Gutierrez comes around third. So two Tigers. Here's the payoff to Coffey. Shortstop has it, fires to second in time, and Podoracek gets the out. Four pitches for Ogbayani and BYU. Due up at the plate is the first pitch swinging, a one hopper to the third baseman. Coffey with a strong throw over to first. In offering down the line, which was close, is called a foul ball. Here's the 0-2 to Barber. Called strike three, her second strikeout looking of the game. Sydney on. Here's the 60th pitch of the game by Burzon. Pulled. It'll be fielded by Gutierrez, but Coach Torina quickly out of the dugout. Again, she struck out to start the third inning. Gilio certainly one of them. Taps it in play. Burzon fields, throws to first, in time. Catch and fired a dart to first base in Gutierrez, who's 0 for 1 today. She walked back in the first. Ogbayani taps this one to Bird to cut down the runner at second base, and instead she throws to first. None now standing on first base for BYU. They have a runner on second. Bejarano has reached twice tonight. Excuse me, reached once. She reached on an error. This ball gets a Burzon, struck out a pair in the first. Another two in the third. This one's hit on the ground. Fair ball off the glove of Gutierrez at... Now a dangerous hitter and Ava coming to the line. This plays off Coffee's chest. Back to back is an hour called strike one. Against Ole Miss, getting her third start in a row. The two makes the play on the lip of the infield grass, throws to first for the second out of. Morrow has 19 runs driven in on the year.
member of the National Honor Society. She has two in scoring position. Late, Newland's got a beat on it and makes the catch for the third out of the end hit and two left on. It's 2-1 BYU, bottom of the fifth, and Ellis reached on a fielder's choice. Court, first offering, it's dropped right side. Epinesa's making some nice plays. It's who's now 0 for 3. That'll bring up Allie Newland, who has struck out and flown out today. No other games in action tonight in SEC. Their first base dugout railing, calling for Newland to get the hit parade. Sealed, going back at the track and making the catch. He had the kitty litter under her spikes. Ah, and Clark's up in the count, 1-0. Graduated from LSU. Looks at the 3-2. Going back a long way. It's out of here. Home for six of the year, and we're tied up at two apiece. Since March 3rd against Michigan, and she's fired up heading into home. She does the. Korth is approaching the 3-1 to Petty. Rano in left field. She'll settle under it. Inning on one hit. The solo shot by Clark. We're tied up at two apiece. She's one for two tonight, singled in the second, struck out, ground to second base. Should be playable for Petty, who's over to first with it. The Cougars, also 3-0 and in true road game, according to Coach Eakin. Otisons makes the pickup on a hop over to first in time. BYU just couldn't get in any games in pro Verge, and the weather was tough to deal with down there as well. The senior infielder for BYU. Two out fouls it down the third baseline. And she'll head back to the ball. That's what she wants. Here's the 2-1 to Barber. Stewart, this one is over her head. One second won't quite be in time. A two-out double. The first extra. And now a little chirping from the first base coach for here's the two-out pitch. Putting it. Pleasant's going backwards, makes the Willie Mays basket catch, and that retires the side. So a runner on, but no run. Who gave up the solo home run to Georgia Clark that tied it up in the bottom of the fifth. Oro sends her the signal. Here's the 3-1. That's outside to Gutierrez, and the Tigers have a leadoff walk. It's coming off that injury. Would not be surprised if she dropped a bunt here. Trying to put Gutierrez. Pleasant drove in the first run of the game with a bunch. She'll drop another run of the plate. The throw down to first is in time to get her to sacrifice. Rudy has started every game for LSU this year. She started 35 on the year with 15 RBIs. Coming in is Bejarano. She'll make the catch, and she finishes inside. Is trying to tag up on that one. Only seen one. time today runner on third base and Savannah Stewart puts the Gutierrez scores from third and LSU takes the lead three to two off the base pass and Gutierrez scores another in the fifth and here in the bottom of the sixth pushed a run a home run by Georgia Clark to even it up to a piece and now coffee works a four pitch walk that one on the outside part of the plate it was Sierra came into today's ball game hitting 365 13 looking for a hit here Field. Coming in is Bejarano, and Agbayani gets him out of the inning. Or on an RBI single by Savannah Stewart. Tiger fans behind their starter, Burzon, and she's got another strikeout. Seven miles an hour, strike one. Burzon deals. This one's popped up, foul territory, first base side. Gutierrez makes the... Ava on the year. Six home runs to lead. Burzon's 1-2. Swing and a miss. Nine strikeouts in the ballgame. And LSU takes two over BYU.